Today I'm gonna be riding and testing the Formula E Moto brakes. I'm extremely excited for this brake to hit the market because we are finally stepping away from mountain bike brakes, which means we are throwing mineral oil out the window and going over to DOT4 fluid. The reason that's such a big deal is because these bikes can achieve some serious speed and with that comes heat. And when it comes to heat, you can easily boil over your mineral brakes. Now that is a huge problem because if you boil over a mineral based brake, it will cause a brake failure across the entire system. That is also the same for DOT. However, DOT fluid has got a much higher temperature boiling rate. So the chances of doing that on these brakes is much lower, which means you can have much more consistency when it comes to your braking system. Now this has got a Moto master cylinder up top that goes back into a four piston caliper that was designed for E-Motos. I think one of the things that I really like about these levers is the actual feel of them themselves. It is a traditional moto lever, so you've got just a really nice curve, you've got really good linearity when it comes to pulling that in. You can easily adjust them on the fly, and I've got really short fingers, so I'm able to pull them in right to where I want them without needing any additional tools. Now when you pull these levers out of the box, they come with extremely long cables, so you will have to cut them down to fit your bike, but they also come with the bits to be able to cut those down and do it well, and if you do it properly, you don't have to re-bleed these brakes. But before I keep talking your ear off, I think we need to just get out and ride these brakes and tell you how they feel on the trail. Matt, I think there's no better way to test some brakes than to climb a really steep hill, come back down and see how they do. This Ventus is gonna have to use its power to get up this. Luckily, it's a really quick bike, so it's not that tough for it. Man, that is steep. Oh. All right, brakes. I need to. Don't fail me now. Oh, yeah, I could slow down so much on this. That's awesome. Super in control. Yeah, I got all the control I need out of these brakes, dude. On a high-powered bike like this Ventus one, you definitely want brakes that'll slow it down. These are some of the best feeling E-Moto brakes I've ever ridden. I like that they just feel strong and like, they feel really linear too. So as you're like pulling them in, you know what you're gonna get out of it. What I think's great about these brakes is they don't overpower the rotor and the hubs that are on these bikes. The front hub on these in particular, unless you've got like a Warp 9 setup where they've made thicker rotor mounting points, then the, the hub is really just a mountain bike hub, which it's not very strong, so I've seen I've seen people put brakes on bikes that are too strong and actually like fully just wreck their hub. Like completely shear it out. These brakes are extremely strong, but they're within the limit of what these this bike is. I definitely don't feel like I need any more stopping power than what I've got out of these brakes. I think the best thing is I just absolutely love the feel of the levers. I'm one finger braking everywhere right now, and it just feels so good. Got another hill climb here. I wanna see how she does. And this one's gonna be unique because I'm gonna be jumping, so I'm gonna carry a lot of speed when I jump. When I land, I need to be on the brakes hard. So it'll be good to see how well they do with that, but I've got confidence. Man, this thing just got so much power. And the throttle is super smooth and controllable. 
Ooh, that was a big hill climb. I wish I could go up there. This is pretty sweet. All right, big hill climb two, number two out of the way. This one's even bigger than the last, so let's see how these brakes do. There's gonna be a couple of drops in here, like this one right here. I gotta hit that corner. Oh yeah, I'm able to slow this bike down right to where I need it to be in control throughout all of this. Sick, dude. These brakes are so good. I love how well the vent just won. This gets up and goes. And it doesn't really feel like it tops out like some of the other bikes do. And it is fast. I am moving right now. Holy sh Oh, slow down. Yeah, these brakes are sick. This thing is so fast. I actually really like the suspension on it. The gravity fork feels good on this bike. And of course it's got an EXT on the back. It doesn't get better than that right now. Yo! Oh, thing moves! Slow down! Yeah! Oh, this bike rips, dude! Yeah, okay. I'll give it to you, Brian. This bike's cool. This is fun. Honestly, I don't know that there's much more that needs to be said about these brakes, aside from they are my favorite E-Moto brakes that I have ridden so far for these little lightweight bikes. They, even in my opinion, are outperforming the new generation of brakes that comes on the Solaria MX-5, which I'm saying a lot, those are good brakes. And I think, I think for me, they're outperforming them purely because of the feel of the levers. They feel awesome. These are really strong. I don't feel like I need anything more out of these brakes. I'm really stoked on them. Move. Move. Body. Move.